So the other day on my live stream, I decided to do free to play account reviews for my viewers who had a chance to submit their accounts provided they hadn't spent any money on it. Unfortunately though, it didn't take me long to realize that a lot of people were lying. You have C4 Kaya. In no world you pull for key. But after a short while, I found a genuine free to play account who was in need of a lot of help to fix their horrendous bills and help them clear the spiral abyss. And this is how we fixed a desperate free to play account. We are in. Chat, we are in. What the fuck am I in though? Wait, what? The I know we said bad account, but why is there no electro character in your team? There are 54. How many characters do you have? Okay, we can work with this. Your beta is level 70. Wait, you're not official? Oh my god, they don't have Fischl or Kuki. Wait, this, you remember at the start of the stream when I was like, I'm sure there's like one person who would want to pull for EM Raiden. This is the one, <laughs> this is the one person. Okay, Beto is actually good here though. You can just play Beto without Hytham. It's just, it doesn't really proc Hyper Bloom, but. Wait, do you have Bennett? Oh no. Yo, low key, why does this damn banner look good right now? Why does this banner? <laughs> no, don't, 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 I don't. Why are you on Rain Slasher? Oh my god. Wait, you actually have no claymore. Disclaimer. This seems like a pretty new account. We're gonna be nice, okay? We're not new shaming. What is this? We're not new shaming. What do you have two Chris and Pikes? We're not shaming. I mean, EM is, is, is not bad. This is okay. The first two characters are fine. Wait, okay, first of all, any red flags? Well, what's your abyss floor? Are you at 12 or no? Oh, yeah, 12 too. Let's look at your teams. Good, perfect, perfect, perfect. We can see what your teams are. Oh, you are using Electro. Okay, this is fine. Okay, finally, what's the second half team? I mean, it's a team. It's definitely a team. It's like almost a good team. It, it's like a normal attacking team with Sifnari, who's supposed to be charge shotting. It's like so weird because all of the characters here are pretty good, but the synergy among them is like not great. Well, okay, what matters in Genshin? Obviously, a good team is nice, but you also want to play who you like, especially DPS. What team would you rather play? A Sucro Salad Hyper Bloom team or a Tsihlari team because you have them level 89? Tsihlari team? Okay, they have answered. All right, we'll play Tainari, brother. So what you could do if you're Giga Chad is you could do Synchro Beto. Neither of them are healers, but Synchro heals you a bit with his rain swords, gives you damage reduction. So does Beto. And now, yeah, your Beto's going to need a lot of ER, but hey, you're pretty tanky. You have a, enough healing for Abyss. Not enough to be comfy in the overworld, so you could change it up. But for Abyss, it's enough. Sure, at least it doesn't do that much damage, but reduces the defense of enemies and applies Quicken, which lets you spread. And you can either run Thrilling Tails for attack or Favonius for energy. And then last slot, so Tsithani is going to be charge shotting. So normal attacking kind of sucks, but since you don't have another good Electro like Fischl or whatever, and since Yolan is such a broken character, I would recommend using her and then just weaving in an auto attack. This is the type of person that's like, dude, my account, I'm stuck, help. I'm stuck, help. Huh? Fear not, Xiox is here. This is how you make your account good in literally one month time. If in one month you message me, you say, Xiox, my brother, uh, here is like, I followed your advice now. I'm a god. Every Genshin player aspires to be like me. Because here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna pick, take the two teams I made for you. Boom, boom, or boom, depending on what you wanna play. And then if you get Bennett, uh, yeah. boom, the, the, be oh, nice and spicy. Bruh. So let's, uh, let's actually have a closer look at the builds. So we'll start with the Elon. Oh. <laughs> Okay, listen, it's okay to be low investment, but your fav is probably not even gonna... I guess you can mark like a bunch of enemies and then like, sh but like, that's fine. That's an okay flower. Feather. You could use this on Shang Ling and it's good. She can use the EM. She can vaporize, maybe proc other reactions. You can even use this on Rosaria in reverse mouth on emblem, like boom, right? But for Yolan, she doesn't really use that EM. Attack. <gasps> Okay, some characters have split scaling, like Hu Tao. She uses HP and EM, right? With Yolan, attack literally, look, it, it, there's nothing. None of this is attack. Attack will buff your normal attacks. Main stats are much more important than substats. Remember this if you're a new player? And Yolan can use HP or ER, right? Um, oh my god. Uh, well. Fat Warble, amazing, amazing weapon. Just go HP Sans, Hydro Goblet. <laughs> okay, fuck your emblem set. Emblem's really good, but main stats are way more important, okay? Get HP or ER here, Hydro or HP on the Goblet, Crit or HP on the Circlet, but you don't want to have too many HP pieces. Like, triple HP is usually too much, right? Alhytham, I think this was your decent character, right? Uh, Alhytham was on... Um, yeah, that's, that's a sense. 
That's not bad. That's actually not bad. You have ER, attack, create. That's not bad. Dendro damage, goblet. That's really good. This is honestly not bad. The only bad pieces are your sands is really bad, but you can get a better one by farming gilded. The circlet is good, but it's crit damage, not crit rate, and you really need crit rate. Also some advice, things like Iron Sting, you can easily refine as you get sword prototypes from bosses. Uh, Syncho, Sack Sword. Ooh. Oh, Zyox, Sack or Fav? Listen, it depends. Fav will give your Syncho a lot of energy, especially if your uh, Sack Sword isn't R3. If it was R3 or more, I would probably keep it. Fav is also nice for the other characters in your team, notably Alhytham, Beto, Lisa, who Whoever, they can use the fucking white particles. Fav, you could argue, hey, I want to keep two because they're good on so many characters. But with Sack, who is it good on? Singtro and fucking Chi Chi. So you can refine the Sack. What are your constellations? So yeah, Singtro C0. Beto is. Oh, yo, you. Beto's your carry. Dude, invest in Beto. Beto is so good, especially with C2, but C6 even better. She doesn't hyper bloom much because her burst doesn't target cores, but the first hit of her burst, which is high, that'll hyper bloom, and then her parry will hyper bloom. It's not a lot, but it's a bit of bonus damage. But note that since you don't official, you're gonna be running Beto in a mono electro team. She's gonna be your only electro character, which means how much energy recharge she needs is like literally doubled. If you need that much energy recharge, then energy recharge weapon can be better. But if you have enough on your substats, then one like this can be good. I would ascend Beto and level her burst a bit higher because Beto C6 is definitely gonna carry that team. If this rolls another crit and it's like 14 crit damage, it's actually not even bad. Wait, that's insane. That's actually insane. Let's let's look at your other pieces because this might be a two TF angle. That could be good too. Obviously four emblem is the best for Beto, but if you go like two Thunder Fury, two something else, it can be okay if your subsets are a lot better. If your account looks like, like this, it's okay. You can fix it. You just need to be steered in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, I was on deep wood. It's okay. Even if your substats are mid, it's yao yao. Like as long as you heal, it's fine. Do you have five lance? Nope. This is fine. Black Castle gives you HP. You're going to heal more. It's fine. If you have five lance, use it. If not, this is okay. What's your Lisa on? Huh? If your Lisa desperately needs ER, go Fav. But if not, a Thrilling Tales will be better. So you can do this. Just uh, R5 it, use it. Also, you can keep some three-star weapons, by the way. Slingshot isn't a bad option for certain characters. Why does every character have so much EM? <laughs> wait, I didn't even notice the Syncho. Oh my God, wait. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> wait, even Gene. By the way, a lot of Dendro teams don't need Bennett. Sino doesn't, uh, Hytham doesn't, Sinfletty teams don't. Oh my god, that's why Bennett's no longer the best unit, Ziox. No, Ratio, he's still the best. The proof that Bennett is broken is that he can work with Hutao, despite him not wanting to work with Hutao. Check if they have Fragile Resin. 15 blows! Okay, I'm not even trolling. Like, I, I, I'm I, not judging you based on your resin spending or your artifacts, but where did all your Fragile Resin go? Prime examples. They sent me a DM. They said, I blew all of my fragile resin on artifacts, Lamau, and then strong boxed. That's just unlucky then. It happens. Like, genuinely, it happens. And I'm not trying to be like, oh, haha, bad artifacts, but unlucky. <laughs> This account right here is almost error 55. So what probably happened if they actually farmed artifacts is they probably strongboxed and had really high standards because they watched his stream and they're like, oh my God, I need really good pieces like this one. This is a really good piece. So you probably wasted a lot of pieces that were kind of mid investment. So that's a huge mistake you might be making if you're watching this at home. Stop having high standards. Gear all your characters baseline. Main stat, set, that's it. Good set, good main stat, fuck the substats. Then the more you farm, the more you upgrade, the more you get substats, the more your pieces start to look like this, right? You did a good job at leveling all your weapons though. This is a big thing that people fuck up. Levels on your weapons, characters, and talent levels are all guaranteed upgrades. Guaranteed value. You're like spending this amount of resources, you get this much damage, it's all good. Always do that first. But after that, you wanna start farming artifacts and which ones you wanna do for you are going to be emblem domain and gilded domain. Then you strongbox, whatever you need. Maybe noblesse, maybe you could get good wander substats so that your gilded characters like Alhytham do like 2 beast 2 beast or wanders for Sifnadi or whatever, right? Make sure your talents are all level to as high as you want them. Like make sure you're, you're focusing on a few characters at a time. Like don't spread yourself too thin. Let's look at their exploration. A hundred, how the fuck do, out of, out of everything, you have the fucking pyramid a hundred in it? I'm about to give you the Xiox lock. I'm gonna do one artifact run for you. Oh, Yolan, Yolan off piece. Now, obviously she could use emblem, but that could be good. Good off piece. This is something that I guarantee you would have thrown into the strong box. But now, boom, you have a piece that you can use offset on Yolan. Okay! See, already at plus four, this might be cooking up. We might be cooking up a Yolan circlet. Anyways, I hope that helped. This was streamed live, so come check us out. I'll hide them very base DPS. I respect you for it.